Oh, this is the foramenoveal. This is actually the mandibular nerve. Anterior division, which we have already covered. Posterior division. Already we covered the one of the important terminal branch that is the inferior alveolar nerve. The next is the lingual nerve. So this is the lingual nerve. We are going to study about lingual nerve. Initially, the lingual nerve will be present deep to this muscle, the lateral pterygoid muscle. So it will be present deep to lateral pterygoid muscle. So this is the lateral pterygoid muscle. It will be present deep to the lateral pterygoid. Then. The lingual nerve passes superficial to that of the medial pterygoid muscle. Then it crosses the styloglossus muscle. Then it crosses the styloglossus muscle to be present on the hyoglossus muscle to enter inside the tongue. Okay, to enter inside the tongue to supply the anterior two third of the tongue. Okay. During its course, the initial part travels deep to the lateral pterygoid. It is going deep to the travel deep to the lateral pterygoid. When it is passing deep to the lateral pterygoid, it is joined by Corda tympani branch of the facial nerve. It is actually joined by the corda tympani branch of the facial nerve, which is going to carry the taste sensation and also carry the secretomotor fibers of the sublingual and the uh, sublingual and the submandibular gland. Then the nerve continues downwards, where it is found on the medial pterygoid. So it is actually present superficial to the medial pterygoid. So all the way we can tell it is present between the ramus of the mandible, it is present between the ramus of the mandible and the medial pterygoid muscle. Okay. Then it crosses the styloglossus muscle to enter, crosses the styloglossus muscle and it is found on the, then it is found on the hyoglossus muscle is the hyoglossus that is found over the hyoglossus muscle. So this is actually the hyoglossus, cut part of the hyoglossus is found over the hyoglossus. So along the lateral aspect of the hyoglossus, okay, along the lateral aspect of the hyoglossus. So here it is found between the hyoglossus and the mylohyoid. So it is between the mylohyoid and the hyoglossus. Then it enters inside the genioglossus, substance of genioglossus, then end by supplying the anterior two-third of the tongue. Here it takes, uh, here actually uh, I will tell about the supply later. So it is supplying the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. On its course, after crossing the medial pterygoid, it is found in the floor of the mouth. It is found in relation to the oral cavity. Okay. It is in relation to the third molar tooth. Just at the base of the third molar tooth, it is found deep to the mucosa. It is found deep to the mucosa here. From here, it enters inside the root of the, uh, enters inside the tongue. From here, it passes medially to enter inside the tongue. So at the hyoglossus, this nerve is related inferiorly to one more no nerve that is the hypoglossal nerve. So the hypoglossal nerve will be running inferiorly. So this is the hypoglossal nerve. Okay, that is the hypoglossal nerve. Next between the hypoglossal nerve and our lingual nerve, the duct of the submandibular gland will be related. It will be related to the duct of the submandibular gland. Initially, the duct will be located inferiorly. Initially, the duct is located inferiorly and the nerve will be crossing the duct. Nerve will be crossing the duct and it will be looping over the duct. So, the terminal part of the duct will be lying will be crossing the nerve. So if you see the duct, continuing forwards, the nerve crosses superficial. So continuing forward, the nerve crosses superficial to the duct and then hooks around it to reach its medial side. You can see it is hooking around to reach its medial side. Okay, that is about the relation of the submandibular duct. So next, Inferiorly, 
we have one ganglia which is related to the lingual nerve that is the submandibular ganglia that is the submandibular ganglia so here will be the submandibular gland and from the gland we have the starting of the duct so this is actually the submandibular gland so this is a duct submandibular duct and this is a gland submandibular now coming to the nerve supply now coming to the area supplied by this nerve first it carries touch pain temperature of anterior two third of the tongue touch pain temperature general sensation of anterior two third of the neck or anterior two third of the tongue anterior two third of the tongue and also its branches the terminal branches also supply the mucosa which is at the floor of the mouth okay on the anterior aspect of the floor of the mouth mucosa of floor of mouth and the gums related to the lower jaw and the gums related to the lower jaw okay that is about the terminal branch next is the fibers which are coming from the cauda tympani will travel along the lingual nerve which carries the taste sensation from the anterior to third of the neck tongue this is the taste through the cauda tympani cauda tympani will carry taste from anterior to third of the tongue except the circumvallate papillae so here will be the circumvallate papillae except the circumvallate papillae the anterior to third taste is carried by the cauda tympani okay then the last one is through the cauda tympani the secreto motor fibers will travel along the lingual nerve will travel along the lingual nerve to end in the submandibular ganglia to end in the submandibular ganglia from the submandibular ganglia it will supply the submandibular gland and some of the fibers pass again through the lingual nerve from the submandibular ganglia from there it will be supplying the supplying the sublingual gland it also supplies the sublingual gland okay so secreto motor fibers are coming through the cauda tympani to relay in the submandibular ganglia from there it will be supplying the submandibular gland and it also supplies the sublingual gland it also supplies the sublingual gland the submandibular and the sublingual gland so secreto motor fibers to submandibular and sublingual gland via the cauda tympani cauda tympani also carries the taste sensation of anterior to the third of tongue and the lingual nerve will supply the uh, uh, will carry the touch pain temperature general sensation from the anterior to the third of the tongue and the mucosa of the floor of the mouth and the gums this is